Hi everyone, so in this video we will talk about computed property names. They are basically used when you want to use a variable value as a property name. Let's go with the example and see how it actually works because that will give you a clear picture. So let's create an object by the name of employee and this employee object will have two properties. First will be the ID and second will be the name which will be Peter. Now let's create a string and let's make it department okay and it will be depth name I want to use this value as a property name here and then I will assign the value to it so it will be emp square brackets department and this will be the value which will be production okay Now let's print this object so it will be console log emp so basically what is happening here we are using this variable value as a property name and this thing as a property value and everything is done using this square brackets here in es5 now let's save this go to browser and you can see this is the output we have three properties depth underscore name id name now this is a way of doing in es5 okay let's put it es5 here comment out this now let's go with the es6 way just copy this entire stuff and paste it here now when you make use of es6 you don't need to go with this part okay you can simply take out this part let me refactor this first let's make it on the top here and just delete this part put a comma here make square brackets inside this object and it will be department and here you can assign the value production and in this case the output will be the same you can see it here Okay, I need to console log first so it will be EMP just save it and that's the output you can see the change just make it sales you can see now let's take it a little further suppose in case in future you want to use this ID as a property name and this entire object as its value so how you will do so Let's get a variable here. It will be employee info. It will be an object. So I want this ID as a property name and this entire stuff as its value. So we can do it using the computed property names. So it will be emp.id. So this will give us 101. Put colon here and make it emp. Okay. Now let's print out this. So it will be emp underscore info. Save it. And this will be our output. Here we are having id as a key here. And this is our entire object. So this is the scenarios where we can use these computed property names. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.